Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation, and welcome to The Hive. In this video in the Getting Started series, I'm going to give you an overview of the Home Assistant Cloud service from Nabu Casa. Home Assistant Cloud operates in tandem with your local instance and offers some convenience and security features. For example, by setting up Home Assistant Cloud, we can set up remote control without exposing our Home Assistant instance to the outside world through port forwarding and dynamic DNS. This offers a secure remote connection when we're away from home, and as well as the secure remote control, we also have extremely simple setup for Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Home Assistant Cloud is not a free service, but at five US dollars a month, it's hardly pricey. And the Nabucasa team are the founders of Home Assistant, Home Assistant OS, and the Home Assistant community. There's also a free one month trial with no payment details required to try the service out to see if it meets your needs. So let's take a look at setting up Home Assistant Cloud and what it's going to do for us. First things first, obviously, we're going to log into Home Assistant. We're going to go to the configuration menu and we're going to click on Home Assistant Cloud. Now, if you've already signed up for an account, you just sign in here, or you can click on this start your free one month trial link to then put in your email address and password. And there's also some information here on what it's going to offer us. Now I've already got an account, so I'm going to click back and sign in here. Once we've signed in, we've got details of our account at the top here, including a manage account and a sign out button. We've got remote control and it says remote access is being prepared. We'll notify you when it's ready. When that's completed, you'll have a URL that you can then utilize to interact with your Home Assistant interface when you're away from home. So you can add that, for example, into your mobile app or just type it into a web browser. Further down, we have Amazon Alexa and also Google Assistant settings. And lastly, we have webhooks. Let's firstly take a look at Alexa and straight off the bat, it's already enabled. And with this integration for Home Assistant Cloud, we can control all our Home Assistant devices via any Alexa enabled device. So pretty much all we need to do is have this switch turned on and then we just need to set up the Alexa skill in our Amazon account. So let's do that now. To set up the skill, we need to go and log into alexa.amazon.com and we'll scroll down to skills down the left hand side here and we'll search for Home Assistant. And if you've searched for Home Assistant, this is the item that you want. And we'll click Enable in the top right hand corner here. This is going to ask us to sign into our Nabucasa Cloud. And so we need to have those details at hand. I'll quickly sign in here. And we've got straight away, Home Assistant has been successfully linked. And we can close this window to discover smart home devices we can control. Now the website tells us that we have to discover devices before we can use them. Now we can either click the discover devices button here or say, Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Turn on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. So that's going to take a moment to search our network for any discoverable devices and add them into the Amazon console. Once that's done, we'll see in our smart home section down the left in devices, we should start seeing some items appear in here. So now if we pop back to home assistant, hopefully now we can say, Alexa, turn on the cherry blossom. Okay. And we see that the cherry blossom switch just actuated there. And we could also say, Alexa, turn on hallway one. Okay. And the hallway one light just turned on. Now let's turn our attention to the Google Assistant. We'll pop back into the configuration panel and go to Home Assistant Cloud. And again, we need to make sure that the Google Assistant switch 
is turned on. So after we have set up our Google Assistant with the correct details, we should now also be able to go back to our overview here and say, OK, Google, turn off the cherry blossom. All right, turning off the cherry blossom. OK, Google, turn off hallway one. Got it, turning hallway one off. Fantastic. So our Google Assistant is integrated, our Amazon is integrated. We're good to go with using voice commands now. Now there are some zero cost options for integrating Google and Amazon Smart Assistants into Home Assistant. And if there's enough interest, we'll create some separate videos on those methods. They're a lot more involved to get set up. And personally, I think I'd prefer to spend the five bucks a month and not have to worry about that hassle. Now, the last thing that we can see on the Home Assistant Cloud configuration page is webhooks. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't use webhooks. You can use webhooks to trigger automations if you want to, and it may come in handy in some DIY projects. But for now, let's not dwell on them too much. There's plenty of documentation on the Nabu Casa page and also in the Home Assistant documentation if webhooks is something that you want to integrate into your Home Assistant configuration. So that's Home Assistant Cloud. Now, while it's not a free service, I do believe that it's worth the five US dollars a month and I'd at least recommend trying it out for the free month uh, to see if it suits your needs. If you'd rather go the free route, let me know in the comments down below and we might take a look at those in a future video. I do hope that this video has helped you in your home automation journey. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family. And if you'd like to see more home automation content, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon to receive a notification anytime I release a new video. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation, and I'll see you next time.